we want to discover in Pure Data how to manage volume. And before we talk about volume, we first of all need to talk about different arithmetic operators that we can use in Pure Data. So let's take an example. I'm going to enter in a number box and I'm going to put in an object. And the object that I'm going to put in, I could put in plus or minus, multiply, divide, but this time I'm just going to put in multiply. And I can put in a number here. And then we'll output that out to another number box. And let's join those up. And I'm going to put this into run mode, and I'm just going to run it up to, we'll go 6 by 10. So I can see there, as I'm running it, it changes in real time. As my number box went to 10, it's been multiplied by this object here. Now, it's been multiplied by the object because it's a multiplication object, but also the initial argument into it is the number 6. So therefore, the outlet going into the number box below is the product or the value, the result of 10 multiplied by 6. Now, what I'm getting at here is the actual multiplication object. It's the same thing if we actually multiply a wave coming out of an oscillator, except instead of multiplying it by something like 6, we multiply it by a value between 0 and 1, because the speakers of the computer, that those are the values that are getting sent out. If it's a 1, the speaker pushes out to its maximum width. And if it's a 0, it just goes back to its rest state. So if I put in one of those objects, a multiplication object, but this time I'm not dealing with numbers, I'm actually dealing with a wave. So I go multiplication and I put in the tilde after it, just like I do with any other object when they're dealing with a wave. And if I enter in a value between 1 and 0, then I'll get that multiplied by the wave. So if I put in the value 0 0.5, well, I'm going to get it half volume because you're halving the strength or the amplitude, which is the volume of the wave. So let's try it out. I'm going to run that patch, and I'm going to put on the sound. And let's go back into edit mode here, and I'm going to change that value. And I can see the decrease in volume there. And let's try it once more. I'll put it up to 1. So this time I'm going to multiply it by 1, which will just give me the signal as it is. And there I can hear the volume go up. And so that's how I deal with volume. And just like any other object, if I've got an initial argument here, it will take that initial argument. But if I have another value coming in here uh, through this right inlet, then it will override the initial argument and it will just take that value instead. So, I can put in a message box or a number box or even one of the sliders, either a, uh, a vertical slider or a horizontal slider. And because the value that I want is between 0 and 1 and the default of a slider is between 0 and 127, I need to change the properties. And so in the properties, I just set going from left to right is going from 0 to 1. Click OK. And then I'll attach that slider here. And we should hear the change. And so I've got a volume control. And that's how to handle volume in pure data.